What's up, everybody? I know we're starting insanely early today. English. <clears throat> Feel, uh, feeling underrepresented. No ginger hair. Oh, change hairstyle. That's actually a nice option that they allow you to do this so freaking early. Pampoor, shortcut, pixie cut. Uh, while we do this, let's talk about how we are going to play through this game. Uh, I think we'll go with... Not that one. Not that one. This one. It's fine. Can I also change the hair color? No. Oh, we can change the eye shape. That's something. So yeah, explaining. We are going to do this sort of Nuzlocke, but because I don't want to go hunt all the Pokémon at the end of the game... Uh, we are gonna allow me to catch every single Pokémon. But if a Pokémon dies, we do lose... ...the ability to use that Pokémon. Also, we're only using the new Pokémon in the game, because... We've all seen all the other Pokémon. Still doesn't change the fact that I will be catching every... ...Pokémon. That's kind of dope. Okay, we're just gonna go with green, you typical... ...green stuff. We'll just go with the regular eyelashes. Yeah. Eyebrows. Yeah. That's thin. Reverse. Sure, we'll go with this one. These need to be white. That's gray, though, but fine. I'm kind of surprised they allow you to customize your character as much as uh, you can. I'll we'll use this one. No color, no beauty spots, no freckles. Confirm. Knowing that we can't change the hair color yet, though. Ready! English. Uh, I don't even know if there's going to be any voice acting in this game. Naranja Academy. Lessons from tradition growing stronger and greater.
it's time for you to to dive into the world of Pokemon. Okay, Omoshiroi. Directic level. Head of Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Pokémon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We coexist with Pokémon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. As Pokémon trainers, they have their Pokémon do battle growing alongside them. That is a new fucking dope-looking Pauros, though. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It's within these halls that you, we, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can wait to welcome you with open arms. Pokemon Scarlet. Those are just regular birds, right? <laughs> Can't tell. He doesn't look, look look so well, does he? Get up! Now saving. Set the attack speed fast. I just need to remember to save every... Now I'll keep the autosave on for a while, actually. Mucha! Good morning, Yordi. Oh, already in, un in your uniform and everything. Well, it's your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go race out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. 
Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong! Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. You already get the door, would you? Uncha! What does this button do? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Yordi, yes? Master? Master? I'm not a master. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for a late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am Director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Director, and you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on his part. So, here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really need half. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Oh, no need to trouble yourself. Really, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag, and your hat as well. We don't need no hat, guys. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Well, you originally did refuse it, but sure. So far, so good. Ugly ass hat. <laughs> that outfit looks so dweeby. Looks terrible. I swear, you better be able to change outfits at some point. So far, the videos I've seen, everyone was still wearing the same shit. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our story, its academy suits you quite well indeed. No, it doesn't. Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Master Yordi. The most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? He's gotta give me my first Pokemon, obviously. I would never be able to wear these shorts. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out to your Pokeballs. We provided each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which one of these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigato, the Grass Cat Pokemon. Spur. Fur Coco, the Fire Croc Pokemon. And Quaxly, the Duckland Pokemon. Pump. <laughs> They're all very good compa company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Yordi, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay here and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once you made up your mind. Now if you'll excuse me until we meet. 
What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have a lot to teach you. Oh, before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. The fo the photon phone, sure. Roton phone. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun! I look so fucking bored, can you believe that? So we start... The Rotom Phone. The handy Rotom Phone is a popular item used throughout the Palladia region. Adding apps to it gives your trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your icon and move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy to get yourself orientated. Magnifying glass at location, flying taxi service. Okay, so this is how the map looks usually. Okay, okay. The great crater of Paldea. Sprints. Nope. Cabo Poco. Who's this lady? This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Now I can suddenly run. Nice. Ooh, you. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. I see that Pokeball there. You got a free Pokeball. The running speed seems... Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. What the fucking bam poor. Of course it does. Still haven't really decided which Pokemon we should take. Not quite, Master Yordi has yet to make his choice, you see. All three of them are actually pretty cute, but I still think I'm going with the cat. Can't be helped. Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's new student, Master Yordi. He will be attending as of today. So you're the kid who moved up in the... Uh, who moved in up the road. I've been dying to see... I've been dying to find out more about you. G 
Portuguese English start. I'm Nemona. 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 Okay, Nemona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, neighbor? Wanna be friends? Always wanted an uh, older Nissan or Nichan to look up to. Love that enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and champion ranked trainer in her own right. Absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice! Be able to battle all you want. On that note, Master Yordi, have you decided yet which of these Pokémon you would like to be your first partner? Yeah, I'm going uh, with uh, Sprigato. I think that's what his name was, right? Spur? Sprigatito. Sprigatito, not Sprigato. You can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our good grass type Pokemon, Sprigatito? Yes. Oh, no! That was Phil. I pressed too far B. Seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Yordi. It's your first Pokémon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokéball. Yordi, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. I mean, like, way to make a perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Kyle, though? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nemona? Not back then, though. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Jordi while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a splendid choice. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemons on equal footing with Master Jordi here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! I like her energy, yo. Since Jordi chose Brigatito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Pump pump! Alright then. Uh, we've chosen our Pokemon. We have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. Let's go to the beach, beach. As you may have noticed, Miss Nemona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll enjoy, you'll join her for a battle. It'll help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Spurigatito. Battle. Nemona. Over here! Damn, she's so much taller than my character is. Anyone can be a Pokémon trainer as long as they have Pokémon by their side. It's our duty as trainers to help our Pokémon grow strong through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Yordi? Hell yeah. Bra. Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. Trust you remember that Master Yordi is wholly inexperienced in Pokémon battling. Heh. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, Yordi. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Jesus, reading is hard today. 
You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Oh, Quaxling. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Lady, listen, I'm gonna kick your ass. Leafage, physical. Water gun! Start with a tail whip! Water gun! Leafage! So. You must be studying up. Smart move. Grass strong against water. Water gun! <laughs> it's not very effective. Sprigato, you scratch. Whoa, not bad, neighbor. Look at you, winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Master Yordi and his Sprigato are surely wary already from that last battle. Ha! Ah, sorry, I got caught. I kinda caught up in all that excitement. <laughs> she says. I'm really sorry, Jordy. You saved to your Sprigato, too. Let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends. You've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmates and here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure you can learn a great deal from a champion reg trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. But it reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, here's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex app was added to your Rotom phone. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof, filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would be. Take, apparently. Ho oh, ho, no, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That truly is a timeless pleasure. And the more Pokémon you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokédexes. Now, Miss Nemona, I do have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Mr. Yordi to the Academy? You would be doing me quite a favor. Of course, leave it to me. And I'll leave him in your capable hands. All right, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. Wah! Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Yordi, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Uh, it's open to Pokedex in a flash. Okay. Follow me, no, nah. No. There might be some useful things I can pick up. See? Pokeball. You don't want to have to come back here later. We're in an open world! Well, not really yet. But almost! Potion. Hmm. 
Yes, Brigado, let's go. Running over the beach. Can't really throw the ball further ahead. That's a shame. Right, that was the camera or the map. Ooh, you can slide into stealth. That's dope. Oh, Yordi. Heard that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've managed to make a friend. And I read, read all about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich! Oh, and maybe you better take these two. Oceans! Some the precious little partner of yours should get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try and savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, alright then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Take care on the way to school. Your mother is so nice, Jordi. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild poke. Come on, vamos. This way! She's so fast. I see that. Ah, crap. Can't walk in there yet. Alright. This here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle, but you've got Spriga Sp Sprigatito for that, right? And if you want to try a catch Pokemon, you gotta use... A good old Pokeball! I've got tons. I have a few. Five only? Damn. Gotta wait until I can uh, do the mystery gift thing, because I have the pre-order 400. Oink oink! Oh, what luck! Time for some learning by doing. Try battling the Lechonk. <laughs> Level is a chunk. Level three. Poke. Chonk. Chonk. Hala, that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. 
I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Cool. Can I actually... Oh, that's dope. Uh, Fletchling. I'm not actually gonna use a Fletchling. Sprigato, you learned fight! Spoder buggy Tyrone Tula. Just throw Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah, we want to call this thing Spoot from Spoder. From Spider. <laughs> Pokedex has been updated. Oh. That was not really part of the plan. Tail Whip! All the whole bits as well. I do have to say that there are quite a lot of Pokemon around. This is just regular throwing them out. Of course we're gonna catch a whole bit. We're catching everything! I should probably catch multiples of uh, Fletchinder, Fletchling, and if I want to make a... Um, what's it called again? Dex, a living Dex in this game. Is that the one Braza! Hi. Well, am I so... Why am I so green? Oh, it's because of the lightning from my screen. I should have known. Scatterbug. How are you doing, Sep? Far-fetched. And if this game is bad, some fighter type or Gengar. I don't know if Farfetch is in this game. I'm good, chillin', nice. Are you enjoying your day off?
scented box. Super potion. Wait, Sprigato is already. Poor Sprigato. Oh, not boxes. I can go into my boxes right from the start. That's good to know. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Okay. Uh, bag. Okay, so out of battle doesn't go that well just yet. But I guess I should have figured that out fighting uh, a Tarantula with Sprigato. Scatterbug should at least have three evolutions. Eventually, we'll run into a Pokémon that you will want to call the Almighty Sep. Just takes a bit of time. Oh, we didn't want to name it, sorry. Antidotes. Oh, I need to target. Good to know, how do you like the game? They're using the same engine as the previous one. Yeah, they are using the same engine, just a little bit more improved. And some new things. But so far, so good. It looks nice. I can't really say anything else about it yet because we're still fairly early uh, on in the game. Okay, that's my third Scatterbug and my third Hoopa. Uh, Hoopa. It's not the right word name. I need two more Fletchinders! Because we want living decks, I guess. Fletchlings. Send to the box.
Ashburberry. Good job, Sprigato. That's a rare one. And a new one. This is a uh, Palmy. An electric mouse Pokemon. Raza. Let's just uh, keep making random names up. Okay, so we got the fletching der fletchlings complete. I don't know anything about the newer Pokemon yet, so I'm not even going to uh, like catch extras of those. I like that this game has like an auto battle system. Don't actually have to do the battling myself all the time. Can I kick this bug's ass? Hey Yurdy, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let's see, so far you've caught. <laughs> Oh, what was that? <laughs> Never heard that kind of cry before. It could be a strong Pokemon or something. Say, we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Yordi. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help you keep you safe, but watch your step by the cliffs anyway. Aw. Okay, so if Sprigato is actually weak against it, it automatically loses. Can I easily swap between Pokemon? Oh, this is camera mode. That's not really what I care about. Oh, we got some uniforms. Okay, that's at least good to know that I can change my appearance. Um... Okay, so if you make it lead Pokemon, you can throw it out, I guess. Oh, oops. Wrong button. Okay, LeChonk, show us what you can do. Shot. 
Because commands, notices. I don't think I can get up there just yet. Experience points aren't as much if you uh, What do you see in the spring? Uh, it just kind of depends on the level I guess Oops I already named it Chonks. Fine, let's see. Can I actually change nicknames? No, I can't. Sure. Drop me off the fucking cliff, will you? <laughs> Where the fuck am I right now, anyways? Oh, near the cave. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Sandwich! Ah? SQ! Go after him, Yordi! I mean me. I mean us. I mean what? Wait. Why is he there still? Is he gonna show me the way? In Let's Grotto. I'm 
mean, he'll probably keep strong Pokémon away from me while I'm still weak sauce. Oi, Yordi! There you are, Yordi. You elk? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. We got hurt because I said we should go look for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now we gotta focus on getting you back up here. You'll just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try and pull you up with one of my Pokémon's moves. Hey, what's that Pokémon in front of you? Kinda seemed like it's waiting for you. That's amazing. Fucking Houndoom. I'll probably have to come back here later. I can't really do anything against these Pokemons yet, I guess. Diglett. What's that, an ar army of Hounder? <laughs> you got your bodyguard, but watch out. Gosh, it's straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful is it? Wonder what that move was. Man. It's called Rock Smash. Yordi, look out, something's coming. Behind you, it's behind you. How doom. We seriously just start by sending off our poor Spriggy. Uh, there's no way you can run from this opponent. Can't find an opening to swap. Okay, so this is a forced death, I guess. They that is easiest, easier to undertake when it's busy as fuck. Since many years, I've just been trying to figure out how to fix my life. Just trying. I'm still trying. I'm just busy looking after my life. This is kind of a dope intro, yo. Way better than the sword and shield one. Hey! Up here, quick! Oh, give me a sec, guys. My brain is thinking, how will I know I can walk again? By trying eventually. And checking in with the doctors. Way to go, for a second I thought you both were goners. Yeah. 
use too much of its strength. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power? What is this Pokemon, anyway? It kind of looks like a... Silizar. But I've never seen one quite like this before. And it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? It's hard to say. You can tell either, huh, Yordi? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella looked perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it perked up a little. You think this fellow was the one making the mysterious cry we've heard before? Yos. Oh man, oh man, oh man, the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. <laughs> Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Boop. Ooh, she has a black one. I like that. Here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Shift. Think before you use it, though. TMs can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Pokedex updated. Any new Pokemon? No, at least not on that side. Why, that little... That little what? What are you doing out here? I'm talking to you two, you can shove off. Wait, I know you, aren't you Arvin? You enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of the Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here? What is this form missing? We met him at the bottom of this cliff. We heard a strange cry and we tried to investigate but he already fell off the cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It's got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon takes in battle, that is its true form. Coridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? I got... yes. You can't go into the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you are... you got the... you go to the Academy too, do you? Coridon is not sort of Pokémon that any old trainer can hope to command, it's special. Special how? What sort of Pokémon is it? You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? Then how about a test of your worthiness, sure? Huh, well look at you, quite a little go-getter. I've been feeding, uh, feeling all, all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these Dolrums away. This guy is a bit of a grumpy uh, and angry guy, isn't he? Shkobit! Can we name this Giga Chat Dragon Moon? Eventually, yeah. When we get it. And these are. These met. Oh. Eventually, we can name it once we actually capture it, but it's a little bit far away still. Boop. 
Struggle bug. Can I name the cute grass type cat mom? Uh, yeah, if we figure out where the name changer is, because I accidentally screwed up and didn't give him a nickname. I was gonna call him Joe Jordaro because Zilla requested that one, like, uh, la Wednesday. But if we can find a name uh, ch uh, name changer, we can uh, change his name. So sure. Oh, Yuri, that was awesome. Guess I was never going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hand, you can take Coridon off my hands for me. You'll need this. This is a Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Coridine's Pokeball. So why you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. Wait, oi! You not hear me or something? Fine, be that way, but you better actually sh- oh, your fa What a weirdo. I want to name it SQ. That orphan guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna ring some answers out of him. But oh, right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our inner school. So what, does Koraidon just join our party? Uh, he's not just joining our party yet. I bet there's a Pokeball here. I don't think I agree to that. Calling Spriggy. Yes, Q. Especially since, uh... SQ is female and Spriggy is male. Look, Yordi, the Mesa Goza, whatever it's called. And that huge building with the Pokeball, and this is our school. <sighs> it's gonna be so great having you in the same class. I'm looking forward to it. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so much. Isn't it awesome that we can see it from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature, stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural place spaces? Tons of Pokémon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway... Like you can see, this is kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on! Cat wants to battle. Ooh, it's a Psyduck. Look at all the Psyducks. Yeah, let's battle. 
this twerp here. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Let's battle, bitch. Q says, are you sure I'm female? So that I have to say I'm pretty sure. We all saw the picture in the Discord of yourself. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? Super strong. can just uh, throw Pokeball at it and catch it. Damn, 43. Bone Claws. One, two, and ta-da! No, because we're not using Psyduck. How dare you call me Baka? Baka? Azuril? Should also easily go. Pity. is a good almighty candidate. But it's a mage type, Sep. Yeah, but it's anime related. Only slightly. Taurus, King Crab, Guy, and Snorlax were my fave. There is a new version of Taurus in this game. So, um... We could use that. It's technically a new Pokémon at that point. Running out of Pokeballs. <laughs> oh, I don't want to call. Uh, I don't need to catch any more Psyducks. I need to catch two more Zoomrills. That is the real that I saw here. Ooh, what the fuck are you, little bugger? 
a gimmickal coin. Or tiny uh, mouses again. Escaped. Money! That's the first time. Shit. Why is this Azuril so strong? But nothing happens. Scratch. Don't kill it, Sprigo. Good enough. Gonna catch all, gonna catch them all, Jordy Mon. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Heh <laughs> heh, bitch. Bitch, lasagna, bitch, lasagna. No, we didn't. We didn't. Ash, catch him. Catch him all. This field is so open. I want to explore it, but I don't have any more Pokeballs, so it's kind of a waste to explore it. Until I catch some more Pokeballs. Here, Deerling as well. And Whooper! These these are the new Whoopers! Heck yeah, fam. I'll come back as soon as I uh, get more Pokeballs. Here, another one. The Cake Dog. Look how cool it is! I don't know what you guys are. Oh, you guys are Igly buffs. Let's kick this motherfucker's ass. If you beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. Lachonk. Disarming voice. That's my purse. You cry, bitch. When do you evolve? Over here, this here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanation to the pros here. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on the left is the Pokemarked counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in LP League Points. That is, one LP is worth one Poke Dollar. Scratch, scratch. And this is, to my right, is the Technical Machine. TM Machine for short. Technical Machine Machine. Technical Machine Machine, okay? It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokémon. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokémon drop. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Damn, girl! 
Oh yeah, and some of these too. And at the Union Share Pool, you can connect with other trainers to fight yourself some adventuring companions. We will, thanks. At a rough adventure, get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But... Uh, Manamonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your Pokemon, your lead Pokemon out with R button. That way you can have a Pokemon that's walking with you pick up items around. Or go battle on its own and other stuff like that. Can I uh, do a uh, Pokemon portal? Is this the mystery gifts? Oh yeah! What is Battle Stadium? Terra Raid Battles, Union Circle, Surprise Trades, Link Battle. Uh, via the interwebs. That's one, and I have another one. Promo code. Established connection. You're now connected to the internet. Searching for gifts. Flying Terra Pikachu gift. Which we're not using because Pikachu is old. Pikachu is not new. Pikachu! You got a Pikachu. Get code. Tension, battery run out, you die. Okay, E... 2... 8... 11... K... 7... One M nine Q two D T L. Searching for gifts. Store bon purchase bonus. Don't know what it is that we get, but sure. Maybe it's a secret Pokemon, or a secret item. Ten potions, ten antidotes, and ten revives. Well, lame. Okay, next one is E two one two O M G R four bitches are everywhere <laughs> four <laughs> four <laughs> R seven Is that the one, the one and only Seppa Leppa Ding Dong? You got a hundred bitch ball. I mean, what? Pokeballs. Yes. Except you don't have to do any chores. Chores are for the week. Okay, we got a hundred Pokeballs plus... Let me go buy some more Pokeballs. Got 10k anyways, so... Like another... Oh, no. That's too much. 
20 on top of it. No, didn't want to talk to the technical machine. It's orc. Stable, not bad, it's not perfect, but I'm managing. Sep's doing very well. If you ask me. I don't expect Wooper to have a third evolution now at this point, so... We can just catch two, right? Or throw Pokeball at this is a real catch a third. Wait, didn't I already have two? Yeah, I think I did. No, Wooper, stay here! Don't run away! Azuriel Fur. Okay. Shh, bitch. Actually got a bad typing against this Wooper. Okay, do we want to give Wooper a uh, nickname? Oh. <sighs> well, not now at least. <laughs> this That's what happened exactly when I was using... Uh, pressing B on this. My uh, cat. Fido. And survived, bitch. Or got out, I should say. Won't hit that hard. I keep slowing my attack. Okay, what about this, uh, food dog? Nice. Fido, what's caught? Lechonk, level 8. Now I got a full team of new Pokémon, at least. New-ish Pokémon. Ooh, there's a Rolts there as well. Don't teleport away, bitch. Just catching every single Pokemon that I run into that I haven't caught yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw an item somewhere, then I got distracted. 
catch a second before. Because I know we're probably only has two evolutions. So once I evolve this Mukbar, we can have it stacked! Nice. Ooh, that's the second Magikarp. Can I toss my Pokeball at that? We can swim! <laughs> yeah, we can catch a second magic harp. Good. Nope. No Lapras. Um, you've seen all of you guys already. I still need to catch all the... Like, three Iggly buffs total. Sprigato do some murdering. Sprigato, that's not the one that you should be murdering. You should be trying to murder these guys. The ones you can at least handle. Awakening. I also still need to catch two of you motherfuckers. Oh. Water, hydrate. wants to learn COVID. Sure. The Sea Weasel! How far can I go? Oh, that's the wrong one. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes. You can see where they actually... Uh... Oh. This area still goes pretty far, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, Hapini as well. I don't think I'm gonna go that far in yet. Maybe I am gonna go that far in yet. Oh, that's a whole bit. No. Oops. Have you been using the new glass to drink water? Not to drink water. Definitely not drinking water. Especially not now, after they uh, worked on the... What are those things called again? The sewer system nearby, so everything is now dirt water. Gotta wait at least a few days. Before I can drink water again, normally.
go back up? No. Oops. Wrong button. I'll finally just murder it. MURDER! <laughs> we haven't even, like, I'm just running around catching Pokemon the entire time and we haven't even continued further into the game yet. Talk about funny. Catch the se second weasel? Or was this the third weasel? I can't tell. But catch it. Easy catch. Red rum. Beach, beach, welcome to the beach. Look, we got the new freaking Diglets. The Wiglets, ha! Oh shit, forgot to name it again. These cute ass little fuckers. Ooh, Wingle. walk over to that side. Can't get to the second wingle yet. I bet we'll run into another wingle at some point. Or maybe something better. Kill him, Spriggy! Murder! Check Submarine. Oh, here, change nickname. Uh, 
that one. <laughs> calling this I'm gonna call this guy Pooper instead of Whooper. At least if that's possible. Yeah, it is nice. At least we explored one section completely now. There's still way too much to explore. Oh, oops. Water gun! Okay, let's go catch some uh, Igly buffs. Copycat, but filled. Crap, we killed it. should throw from behind for easier catch range. Sing. Uh oh. I don't actually think that works in this game though. Use copycat. again. Uh, scratch. Defense for all. Woke up. That I miss. Good. <laughs> Igly buff was can't. Normal fairy type. No. No. Box. Bigly buff was caught off guard! Okay, let's hit it with a scratch and then throw a Pokeball, just to be safe. Okay, one more Igly buff to catch. Okay, 
Gun. Okay, nice. Let me heal up again. Wait, what was the other option that I just saw? Oh yeah, I think it's uh, sh to show me which directions I can go. All the tidbits. Can I register my birthday? Oh, seven. Eleven. That's right. Damn it. Welcome, Los Platos. Wait, where did I see another? Ah, never mind. I'll look at it later. Can't go in here. Look, new towels. It's dark. It stunk, it looks angrier. I wonder if this uh, one can evolve. It's something new. Ooh, Surskits. Got a new TM. He's not battleable, Sir Skits. Hmm. Apparently. Wrong button again. Ocean. Oh, oops. power. XP Candy XS. I don't know what that red fire is, but I'm gonna check it out. 
No, there was not fire. It's just a sleeping Igly buff. And sleeping other Pokemon. Loose plateaus. Now, peenies must be very rare. They don't spawn as much, at least. Doesn't look like they spawn as much. I mean, that's where I was just now before. What's up, SQ? Why are you psyching? Insect types are not really my friends. When I use Brigado. Oh, I can jump off ledges. Good to know. Where are the... Oh, those are... Whatever they were. <laughs> Yeah, GG Yordi. Ooh, Pichu. Oh. And I killed it. Which was not really what I had in mind. Vet. Oh, this bitch is bulky, yo. another squo vet and another Pikachu or Pichu uh, I definitely need another Pichu more whoopers and other things I need to remember to come back here because I can't get there yet. See if Squovet wants to get into the Pokeball without me having to do any effort. Yeah. Yeah. 
I saw you there, Bones Lee. Good enough. Whoopie cat, use bite. Critical hits. Good. The Bonsai Pokémon. Oh yeah, wait, I saw um, the mini turtle thing that I needed to catch. Before I got distracted by the Bonsley in this cavet. And the other Bonsley over here. I was looking for you, little ninja turtle. Shoot all. I don't even know how large the Pokedex is in this game. Didn't pay attention to that. Bite over Tail Whip, even though Lick is not that great. But who cares at this point? Registered. Well, there's a Surf Skit. Getting super distracted by everything. Oh, oops. Was not really what I had intended. The source get one go into the Pokeball in one go. Nope. Harder gun! Not very effective. It's level 8. Bite. Crap baskets. <laughs> it's not what I had intended. Damn it, Azuril. Oh, oh. 
Splash. I will psych, I will psych. You're not allowed to just psych. We've talked about this, SQ. You're allowed to psych when you're like... IRL when you don't have a reason because then you don't really have another choice or whatever. Automatic things, blah blah. Shklush kebab. But you can't just type psych in the chat without having a good reason. You know? Super Potion. Yes, I am allowed. No, you're not. But I wanna... no. That's a new Pokemon. Just like this one. Don't know what it is. Trudel? Bonesly Tears. Oh! That's not what we want. That's very bad. Hey, <laughs> I've got two. Got two whole Pokemon, am I cool or what? Level four is real. It's even lower level than the other ones. We want to send out Houndor. They actually remove the ability to change a fairy, poison, normal bug. Let's use our Braza for once. We haven't used Braza at all. When you get old, you don't get chocolate drinks, you get coffee. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Ooh. 
Wah, my two Pokemon! Suck it, bitch. Another trainer over there. Pretty sure... There was also a trainer up here, right? At least an item that I forgot to pick up. Two items, even! Three hundred items! A sunkern? Nope. Don't kill it. Good. Pichu. Um yes, mistress. I'm a pervert. Room. Before I got distracted by that Pichu, what was I gonna do again? There was a trainer n near on the roads so that I need to ass kick. Trainer over here. Oop. Those were a little bit a lot. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to set Yodato Yodato against this boyo here. It's just Thunder Shock it. Holy shit. Oh, heck yeah, he growled. I should not have gone into this. Okay, that sucks. Um, Pokemon. Let's use Pooper. Calmer! What's up, dude? I'm doing okay, how are you?
gotta watch out for the... What are they called again? Ooh, Pachirisu. How's the game running? The game kind of looks... Uh, runs kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, hello? But that's not necessarily, like, doesn't ruin your enjoyment of the game, I should say. Chunkers. Yeah, I'm worried about that my copy is arriving later. Hopefully they patch it in the coming days. Yeah, that I can understand. I'm pretty sure they will, though. Let's be honest. Way too many people complaining about it. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about the frame rate because I uh, don't really pay attention to it, probably as much as I should. That's not a very good opponent for my level 6. Raza should be able to handle Rookie D, right? Other, yeah, item here. Hmm. Bonesley, not another Pichu has appeared. Sad. Still need to kick this guy's ass over here. Oh, hey, second Sunkern. I've been meaning to drop in stream or raids in at some point, but at times, line up, I'm always too late. <laughs> yeah, I stream from like 6 usually till either 11 or 12. And you usually like go live midnight from what I can tell at least. But you don't really have to worry about that. I'm just as good at stopping by people as uh, a coconut. Which equals not very good. Ruben's genitive. Sends out a bullpen. There's another Pokemon that's not very good for Joe or Dado. 
Yeah, it's a weird schedule as I keep it hidden from my friend group. They have no idea I stream. Uh, I guess we're sending in Chunk. Why are you keeping it hidden from your friend group? Not the most supportive group when it comes to this sort of thing. Cringe. It's nice to get away and do your own thing, you know? Truth. There is truth in that. This one is. Uh, let's just throw a Pokeball at it. Maybe it just goes in in one go. Well, we sent Le Chonk in again. Sorry, Chori Chorio is way too strong. Best player goes in hard on this soundtrack. Music so far has been really good. Damn, that's a lot of experience points. Should also check in the trees and in the sky a little bit more than that I'm doing. Just a uh, thing. Wait, what did you? Oh, um, hi. Suddenly, a lot of Pokemon appeared. A lot of bug types that kick my grass types ass. Pretty sure uh, my buddy doesn't appreciate that very much. A slack off. Pokemon Leafage Ow Almost level 16 Wonder if my Sprigato is gonna evolve at that point
Anything cool to catch in this water? I see Azuril. Just Azuril. Sad. at all the buttholes. <laughs> so, Cal, have you, uh, like, done any research on this game so far yet? Like, what Pokemon you'd want to use, what starter and such? Another Bonesley. Surprised that Bonesleys are so common in this game. Ooh, that's my second Chutol. And a Pichu. Where did the Chutal go? Ah, damn it, Chutal's butthole that runs away. Oh no, here it is. Too much damage if I chunk should be fine. Maybe not use echo voice. Tackle. Bitch. Critical hit. <laughs> uh, I just want another Chutol. Ask for advice? That is new. Didn't know you could ask your Pokémon for advice. This kind of manner. You're challenged by Charlotte. A bound sweep.
there's so many Pokemon balls everywhere to grab. Also, I need these three Bone Sweets. I'm pretty sure Bone Sweet has three evolutions. I'm catching too many Pokemans. I haven't even gone to the school yet, and we're two and a half hours in. Gertie's just catching Pokemon after Pokemon. So that he doesn't have to do anything later, too much later. Ooh! Sprigato is evolving! Now the bad news, guys. The cat is gonna stand on two legs. But he looks dope, though. Floragato. Still can't actually reach those Surskits. Okay, one more look see around the area. See if there's anything. Look at this little bugger. Such a badass. Ooh. Secret cave. Oh, not that secret. Ooh, they have Lux... Lucio is... are on the hill there. Items! Revive. Metal Claw. Full heal. I actually can't tell either if that's... Uh, what they're showing me here. Ah, oh, fuck it. Okay, let's see if the other, uh... Should probably go check out a little bit of the guys that I already seen, right? What they look like. So that when I run into them again, they might be shiny. At least the new Pokemon, because I have no idea what they look like. Shrewdle. Ooh. Oh wait, I already caught a second Pichu, never mind. What a cool Pokemon! Did we battle yet? No.
Youngster Luca. Choodle! Bitch, please. With a yo yo. With a yo yo. I guess just looking cool doesn't cut it. Nope. You're right. We could go even higher up. Let me heal my Pokemons up real quick. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, crouching, we knew that. Defeat four trainers here in Arena of One of the South Providence. There's a lovely prize with your name on it. Or you've defeated eight trainers here in Arena One of South Providence. A half of the Pokemon League. Here's your lovely prize. Thunder Wave. Cute. This just leads to dead end again. Let's go see what's here. There's another trainer there. Kick his ass! Luxury Ball. <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's anything interesting specifically here. But we can go up the mountain, see if there's anything up there. And obviously grab the Pokeball with an item. curious about do you get the secondary type yet nope gotta get stronger I'm gonna defeat you so my Pokemon can get tougher I wish you good luck bro Oh, he has a Shinx! I kinda wanna use Shinx on my team. Whether it's a new Pokemon or not. But then again, I'd be breaking the rules that I set for myself. Then I could say, 
Who cares? Those are your rules. Change whatever you want. I'm back on track. Made mayonnaise. You made mayonnaise? Nice. Mayonnaise! Can I kick your ass yet? No. Oh, yeah, we can. We just take a little bit of damage now. Instead of shit ton. Bonesley. So many fuckers to slay. Ooh, free, free rare candy. It's nice to know that Pichu spawn here a lot better than over the other bolt swore that I was running around. Got some grocery shopping. Oh yeah, homemade mayonnaise. Another level of awesome. Okay. I did not know that. Okay, I think we're uh, clear here. I finally make progress. Is what everyone is thinking. Not me, because I like running around a little bit too much, maybe. If I can get my Rayquaza in this game at some point, Mesa Goza. Hey, Yordi! Oi! Nimona! Did you battle some trainers on the hill? That's your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in battle? You don't need Rayquaza, or how do you spell it? With a Z instead of an S. And yes, I do. Just how I need Luxray. I can't live without. Quaxley. Oh, poor Quaxley is gonna get crushed. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Well, I got six. That's my type of crush from school, like 100%. Proof. Same. She is also way too nice. Pommy. Now, Pommy is also uh, electric. And she is your neighbor and classmate. Yari yari dazi. Belling you is a blast. I think I'll better pull out my ace in the hole. Oh, what's that? Is she actually gonna fuck it? 
Cheater! She went Terra! Still though, I should OTK. Terrestrialization. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Amazing! Look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come think of it, you can terrestrialize your Pokémon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokémon battles, I forgot how new you are at this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Useless, because we can't use revives. I almost lost <laughs> Sprigatti twice already. Now, Missa Goza is waiting just past this gate, at last, to see where our school is. There's tons of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. There's an entire area that I actually haven't explored yet in that side. But I felt like making a little bit of progress through the city before we go do anything else. Oh, this place looks fucking fantastic, yo. So then I got distracted. <sighs> All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesagosa, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks here learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. The hair salon where you can change your look plus place with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first, Jordi? Hair salon! Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Maybe you just want a practical dough that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokémon too, Yordi. Few things that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. That's the plan. So much to do, grab a bike, buy some sor sorry, and spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you gotta see Delibert Presents. They sell handy items for Pokémon to hold. Oh yeah, that's a thing in this game. Stairs. Later then, get pumped for terrestrialization! Jesus. But the question is, how big- ah, uh, this place is huge, bro. Let's, um... Talk to this motherfucker here. Welcome. Okay, now we're going to the left first. Can I actually... No. I was already aggressively thinking, let me catch these Pokémon here. Any Pokémon trainers? Any Pokeballs? Nope. Okay, so we gotta go to the hair salon because we need to change our hairstyle to either orange or red. Red if there's no orange. Quesadilla. Great power, ghost, egg power. Counter power, I'm paying cash. Spicy potato. Does that mean I can also create that food now? Spicy potato. This looks weird though. 
Tod! Stop bitching. Hmm. Don't know. If that actually uh, haunt me. Anything. Ooh, potion. Super potion. Gingerize the laddie. Yeah, that's definitely the plan. Um. Where was it that I could... I know I could at least change my outfit already. But I don't remember where. Bag. I've not seen any monkeys yet, though. Tiny mushrooms. Well, screw it. Was it with select? Pokedex profile? No. Okay, what is this? Welcome to Deli Bird Presents! Battle items. Miracle Seed. Carcoal, Mystic Water, Silk Scarf. Muscle Band. Ability Shield. Quick Claw, Focus Band. Don't know if that's worth... Rotom phone cases! Sprigato, lavender, green, rose, olive, pink. Okay, no, don't care about that. Can Pokeballs gonna buy here? Heal Ball and a regular Pokeball. Ooh. That is good to know that we can very early buy these items. What is this? Go for broke grill. I kind of like this city. Funny ass looking city. Fresh products, egg, salads. Just buy five of each in case we need it later. Tasty fillings, essories, ham. A sandwich with a simple red design. Okay, so these are just sandwiches, I guess.
Oops. It's weird that they change your camera when you go into a building like that. Quick claw. Happen from time to time if you let your Pokemon hold quick claw. You sell them over there at the red shop. Ada, ada. Oh, this is another Delibird uh, presents. Do they have the same items? Yeah. I really feel like I need... any held items yet. Plus, it's not like they're that great. Sure cans! Strawberry, banana, tomato, and pickle. I'm good. Uh, that's another market, I guess. Tasty fillings, accessories. Let me do the... Quick travel registering here. Mass Outbreak Pokemon. Welcome to Seabreeze Cafe. Been in that one. This one. No, I cannot enter this one. This one. Neither. First of our class. This is the cafe again. Cafe. Is this? Can't enter that either. Ah, there's the Saloon! The Saloon! Welcome! What do we do for you, hairstyling? So, damn, that's orange. Smoky pink, red. Red wine. Platinum bones, what we're using right now. Okay. We're going with the namesake and blind everyone. She can pay in LP and he can pay in cash. That is kind of nice. Yeah, Ginger, your team. Okay, this is the clothing store, right? It's this. Welcome to Picnic Knacks, the one-stop shop for all the picnic needs. here later when I have more money. But not this one. This one we need to go into. Oh, this is only backpacks? Lame. And I stepped in again because I'm a dummy.
No items. Let's see, are these different stores? Oh, these are hats and glasses. Those are shoes, I guess. So these are shoes. These are socks. Cafe. Clothing. What is this? Welcome to Chancy Supply. Let me assist you with. Okay, for X Defend and such. This must be top and bottom. Plain wine gloves. These are hats again. And glasses. Thanks, hope to see you again. Greetings from Kanto. Nice. Encounter power. This is. Oh, this looks like another Gopher Broke Grill, yeah. Ooh. Almost walks right into it. Yeah, okay, the rendering distance for decent speed is actually kind of trashy. Pokeball! Max revive. Actually. for the grabs. Hey, free Sooth Bell. Free, guys. It's free. Meep meep. Buffy. Buffy. Oh, I thought I was talking to uh, the shopkeeper, but that's not the one that we want.
Pokedex map. The picture. Oh, now I remember how to do it. School helmet? Oh wait, I can remove by pressing X. Yeah, better. Horn rimmed glasses. School backpack. Yada yada does he? It's tough being a kid. Can't go in here yet. Weird as buggy areas. What's this? Oh, this sure cans. This is gonna be a rough one. To entering and exiting the entire time. There's another entire path down here. Sandwiches! Sandu beaches! Almost missed this. store kind of surprised that there wasn't more Clothes to buy, at least. Who the fuck are these guys? Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not help her out. Huh, you want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. Your team scar, scar, star kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Nope. Another ignorant little nobody. Here, I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the rank. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we got no choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Team Star. Nice pose, yo. Strudel.
I mean, they did call me a fresh face nobody, but, you know, I kick way too much ass. Hooper learns toxic spikes. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because you suck! Nobody like you so good at battling anyway. It's just not right. No way he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's rank? Pero Bueno, what do you think you're doing? Uh, it's a student council dweeb! He's gonna report us if we don't book it. Can't believe you, Yordi. I'm gonna have to f go find randos to battle. Full so you'll ever eat with me. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Whoa, I read that way wrong, sorry. Yeah, now you two have Gup Team Star written all over you, for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure, pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi, we weren't not doing that. That explains it. As soon council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also a perfect chance for you to try out my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. You obtained a Terra Orb. You put the Terra Orb in your bag. Terra Orb. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokémon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure Floor Gato will be Grass-type. Normally, you gotta take special class to be able to get one of these terror orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his terror Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Ah, never mind. I'll take my chance with the new kid. Then take your places in battle! A young goose. Terrestrialization. That looks flashy as fuck, yo. <laughs> Joe Dotto uses leavage. The opposing Yungus fainted. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Get a chance. Your Pokemon burn so bright. Look at that girl, like, fucking dancing there. Nice, Yordi. You pulled off terrestrialization. Terrestrializing. No problem. Most of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. Difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at Pokemon Center after every use by healing your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too, hasta la vista! So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They are ever on the leash. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even teachers don't know what to do with them, for what I've heard. Um, excuse me. I, uh, just, well, thanks. Oh, so, yeah, see you around. Aw, oh, look at you, you're already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee back, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. It's 
literally looking at it like, Ugh. This is the worst staircase in the world. We haven't even talked about staircase, um... The staircase of Final Fantasy VII. Yes, of course I gotta look around to see if I can find any new items to grab or TMs or whatever. Can get on the roof. Only here. Probably need to wait until we get like uh, what's her buddy's name again? Karidon uh, improved even more. What are those? Ooh, Finium. And a new TM. Sad, no TM over here. is way too large for me. Been running around in the, in the city the entire time. No items. I do really enjoy this game so far though, yo. Even though we're still pretty much in the fucking prologue! That is not a complaint, by the way. That's just me saying that I'm slow and I'm exploring too much. Let's go grab that thingy. I don't think I can actually catch these Luminium, right? Disarming voice! Nope. That sounds like a big nope. Good to know. Okay, time to go to school!
Damn, the music is suddenly getting a beat, yo. Rock rough. Everywhere. Let's go inside. Here we are, Yordi. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they ban Pokemon battling in the main entrance. <laughs> she is a battleaholic for sure, Master Yordi, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Yeah, the blast. Imagine Miss Nimona's high spirit has helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Liable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how you look after my friends. Alright, Jordi. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an EV backpack. It's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, you already flexed on them and they ran off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student master, Yordi. But you might wish to show a bit more restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. Child with an EV backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Uh, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going ons. Goings, whatever. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Class will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, you already come on, I'll show you the way. Mr. Jacques. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Everyone is so tiny compared to fucking... <laughs> Damn. Hello, hello, everyone. We have exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me! E! I want to hear the news! Suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. I'm gonna kick all your asses with my Pokemon battle skills. Alright, you can come in. Damn, I look like such a dweeb. I can't... Ugh. Why? Game Freak, why? Could I trouble you for a few words of introducing yourself? Sure, I'm Yordi. Did you hear that? He's super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Yordi. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? You are a dweeb, that is so true. Me, me, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokémon? I like everything about Pokémon! Really awesome, I'm totally the same! Does everyone, anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question! You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Yordi. You hope to get out of it. You must have some kind of dream, right? Be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You mean we're going to get a strong, so strong battling together? Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Jordi. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at uh, the Academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. He's a interesting designed homeroom teacher. That's your seat. Second on the row from the front. All right, you rag muffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We're so tiny! Like, come on! 
Get to know the Academy Canvas by exploring a bit on your own. Yuda Shai Masen! Why well, you want to talk to me? I want to talk to anyone. You can now move around to school. Start checking out places on the map where you see some that might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Uh, this... Give me a sec, let me look around the classroom a little bit more. Playing kids game and whining about... <sighs> I mean... <laughs> Can't they just, like... Make it a non-kids game anymore? I don't like kids games. <laughs> Turn it into something better, right? Make it more team-ish, you know? Very well, Champion Nemona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. What the fuck is she? Oh, pardon me. Dean's play Bolt. No, it's, it's trash. Oh, Yuri, hey. Who was, she, who was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. <clears throat> La Primera? She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practical coming... She's got cool practi practicality coming out of her ears. She basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Well, which reminds me, remember in our homeroom when I asked you what your dream was? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try reaching champion rank like me. Oh yeah, I will. Oh wow, hang on though. I've got a whole spiel that I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokémon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. They move, their moves keep crowds absolutely on edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to be to the Pokémon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take class here. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone ever could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is, special is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great! You get to leave school and go have an adventure and learn who however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? Don't know if, uh, yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations on your map, in case you decide to go for it. Okay, you should have an added to your map. Victory Road. Give it some thought. I really need to do something about this... ...outfit. <laughs> oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? From the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. It's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. You already right. Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. 
I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for a class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Happy to help. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? This little maniac? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is I'm all about that picnic life, the great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwich, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there are some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mythica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide, it's, provide nutrition, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. Those herbs seem like they are a real deal. Only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Because, see, titans are, well, I think there are got to be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descend further into Area Zero, we begin to keep the catch glimpses of mysterious Pokémon. Thought we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokémon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat. Interesting. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed the passing resemblance to the Pokémon known as Dolphin. Yet it's different such as its sheer size and shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokémon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokémon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never... And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to the student council girl. But here you what's up. You got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure. W nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the place where it seems there might be Titans in your map ad app for now. Lizzie, Dio. How come? So I watched this dude on TikTok. Yeah. Let's do a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this a little gift for listening, like Stardust. Give the idea some serious thought, though, please. Press to follow me. 8k is not that much. Roto, to, 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 to. This is Yordi, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Sorry, who are you? My name is Casopeia. But never mind that, it's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, Yordi. You know about Team Star, right? Yes. It is, lol. He always has so many people freaking out. You don't have to freak out. It's just a person, Lizzie. It's just a person. I appreciate you being up front here. This group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refused to sit idly by and let them get away with it. I has a crush. All the more reason to just think it's just a person. I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure. No need to reply this right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Goodbye. Yeah, it does explain why you're freaking out. Ah, Master Jordy. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? 
Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. Team Star, you say? Lizzie's freaking out. Lizzie has a crush for the first time in years. Ding dong dong ding. Calling Master Yuri to the director's office, please. Just follow because he's cool and you and Slow never expected that. Dong ding ding dong. Jesus Christ, you guys are giving me too much shit, yo. Just want to look around a little bit. <clears throat> Damn, my screen is reflecting a lot of light, yo. Or my skin, I should say. Thank you for coming, Master Yordi. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Na uh, Naranja Academy? Yes. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simple con simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in the office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Ah, no, I'm afraid they can't actually... They aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to come next us. The Pokémon Professor Chica! Hello, Yordi, it's nice to meet you! My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea. At a site known as Arena Zero. The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Yordi, student idea number 808. 5C393. You are the student who traveled with the unusual Pokemon Koraidon, is that correct? Yes. Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. <clears throat> uh, not that I. I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Yeah? Oh! How good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Ah! Koraidon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would like to ask of you. Will you continue looking after Koraidon on my behalf? Sure. I do appreciate your agreement. Koraidon has, has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. You would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then! <laughs> Did this Pokemon have its origin within Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. We don't know. We will never know! Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite a favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way we are able. 
I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life continued with Kodaimon. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Jordy? Oof, getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wants me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Jordy. Let's go check it out. Okay, time to eat my burrito. Burrito, Dorito. Ta-da-ta-ta! -ta -ta. Woo! First time a girl in my room! Yay! <laughs> Look at Jordy with his orange hair. From today on, this is your room, Jordy. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. Hey, you must be pretty worn out after all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest on the bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you rest up, then we can battle even more. Take care. Wow. <laughs> Listen, Lizzie, Sep just told me that I'm a dweeb. Right? So I gotta act like one, right? Can I not rest yet? Can I go to the entrance? No, I have to rest. Cringe! Days quickly fly by after you start your new life in Najara Academy. And then the last day arrives for the true adventure to begin. Wait, what? That is uh, weird. Not gonna lie. Ding, 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 ding. Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Okay, I can press. I hope. Rush out of chocolate powder. Running out of Nesquik. False alarm, guys. It's a fake account. Did, really? Uh, damn, Lizzie. You gotta be wary of this shit. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Ding dong dong ding. It's time! Well, Nimona is night, yo. Lizzie, if you get a notification and you're gonna stress out like that, at least go check out if it's the actual account and not some kind of fake bot account, right? Thing forever for this. Come on, let's go to our schoolyard. If I like some cosplayer picture, I get like five, six invites from porn accounts on Instagram. Yeah. That is a rule. Well then, explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the team will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. I've learned jack shit. I haven't even done any assignments. But now it's time for you to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokémon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you, will you achieve? Of course, your Pokémon partners will be there to help you.
share each other's thoughts and feelings and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Lights! Tell me, uh, it's the time for the great outdoors. Come on, Silizar, we're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember the great creator of Paldea is ex exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Goal. Are you waiting for Yordi? Let's go! Uh, bitch, please don't tell me what to do. I'm going back inside the school and we're gonna do all the classes. Because I don't know how many classes there are, and uh, what we get from it, so I'm curious. School store. Biology lab. Art. Nurse's office. What does the school store have? It's not like I have money or anything. Maybe there's something fun. Pokeballs. I follow way too many people. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the entrance hall and take some classes. I call bullshit. Battle studies! Yes, let's go. Oops. Say hello to your battle instructor, the one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra! Osu is a karate thing, by the way. Look it up. My age? 25. My hobby? Working out. My type? Well... Strong and muscular fighter t fighting types, of course. That's all for my introduction. As for my class, this is where you all get to learn the nitty-gritty of Pokémon battling. We'll start with the basics, so that no trainer gets left in the dust. Even if you're new to this stuff, have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set our fighting spirit ablaze together. Pokémon have all kinds of attack, of attack moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power, type, and category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move type. Heads up, new kid. Question is coming for you. There are two categories that Attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? Physical and special. Duh. Lucky, awesome. You're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you'll you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories: physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher the Pokémon's attack stat is. 
special move do more damage, the higher the Pokémon's special attack is. On the other side of things, Pokémon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having high defense or high special defense, respectively. In conclusion, Pokémon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokémon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokémon to shine in battle. Make your Pokémon strong points stronger, I always say. That goes for both people and Pokémon. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hand-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we're out of time. We'll generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard. Even for book learning. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? But class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Battle Studies 2! Yeah. We're gonna take all the classes uh, of one type in one go, because otherwise I'm gonna... ...do things the wrong way. Another day, another round for battle study. Yus! Let's get right to it. Is everyone excited about the treasure hunt? It's always a great adventure. You get to take on gyms, go to new places, and run all over the place with your partner Pokémon. And while you're running around out there, bet you'll come across some big shiny crystals fairly often as well. These crystals are actually a collection of terrestrial energy and that seeps up out of the ground. You can check out these crystals to battle Terra Pokémon with your friends or other trainers in the group of four. We call those battles Terra Raid Battles. The Terra, Ra the Terra Pokémon you'll face off against in Terra Raid Battles are crazy tough. They sometimes act differently than regular Pokémon. So you'll need to be on your guard. Luckily, trainers can also use a special action in Terra Raid Battles. It's called cheering. And there are three, three different cheers you can use. The first cheer is Go All Out. It boosts the attack and special attack of an ally Pokémon. The second is Hang Tough. This one boosts the defense and special defense of an ally Pokémon. And the third, so let's see if you can guess. This cheer restores HP to, for all ally Pokémon. What do you think it is? Wham Bam Potion, Explosion, Healing Wave, Heal Up! That's right. Maybe I should make you the battle teacher, huh, new kid? The third and final cheer is Heal Up. It's a real powerhouse with the ability to both restore HP and cure status conditions. You can cheer up to three times during the single terror raid battle. Oh, that's nice to know. So cheering uses up a turn in battle, so you won't be able to have your Pokémon use any of their moves when you cheer. Okay. In conclusion, try everything at your disposal. If nothing seems to be working, try cheering on your allies. Providing support to your team can sometimes open up new realm of possibilities. I want that hair. Well, uh, good luck with that, Lizzie. I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice. Okay, we did all the... Would you like to take bi biology with Mr. Jacques? Now don't be tardy. I'm gonna make notes on all the classes. it again. Heal up. I don't remember the other two for healing in Terra Raids battles. 
history times a battle to cheer. Hello, hello, my name is Jacques, and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll learn... We'll all learn about various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in more depth. If you'd like to be better, become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeballs and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? You can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out its Pokemon in sight. Nothing cuter than walk in your poke watching your Pokemon run around under foot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can you tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Near water? Inside buildings? Okay. Um, bio... In buildings... Can talk to Pokemon after throwing them out with ZR. The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokémon indoors. How about that? Some Pokémon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings, so it's not allowed regardless of species. Therefore, please only let your Pokémon out of their Pokéball while outdoors, okay? If they... I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokémon pals by walking together. Uh, we already knew that. Leads Pokemon only and closer friends. We already knew that. Wonder when you can take the tests. Hello, hello, I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Did you all try using your ZR button to let your Pokemon out as last time? Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they are all they all are. I also highly recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Saguaro's class is the best place to go. I haven't even been able to make a picnic. You may find something very important in the basket next to your table. It's very important something is what Pokémon are born from. Pokéball eggs! Picnic leads to eggs. So, more friendship. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthily by the Pokémon at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You need to have them in your party. And here's one more super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokémon entrust us with their eggs because they believe in us. So, I sure would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your little Pokémon eggs. Whoops, my most important point came right as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess.
with Miss Time. Math. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name's Time and I will be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of the class, but let me ask you a quick question. You enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? No. <clears throat> I don't. Yeah, sort of. Err. Oh my. <laughs> Thank you for your honest response. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you will find yourself enjoying our lesson together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your studies of Pokemon-type matchups? For example, grass strong against... Strong against water and water strong against fire, correct? Yuri, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bear in mind that water is strong against fire. If the water gun hits a fire type, what becomes of the moon's damage? It's doubled. Moves of a type that your opponent is weak to a super effective, ta effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using a move of a type that is your opponent is resistant to isn't very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. Haha, <laughs> no mean to enroge on Miss Dendra's battle studies territory, of course, as I thought. It's best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make math fun, even for those of you who don't much like the subject, don't you think? Back to school it is! Yeah, fucking hell. I don't necessarily need to write that down, it's like obvious Pokemon thing that I already know, but... Yordi uh, can sometimes be a dumb brainy boy. Right, so we better do a little bit of remembering. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy shopping, buying tasty bread or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. Today's class, I'd like to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. I'm sure everyone here has fly out and visited Pokemart at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 each. Now then, I'd like you all to do some thinking with me here. On Pokeballs 200, if you had 2,000 and bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford, how many would you receive? Wait. Is this a trick? Because if you buy 10, you get 11 through to a Premier Ball. <clears throat> That's correct. Well done, you're the fucking genius. Overthinking. Fucking insane. With 2,000, you can afford to purchase a maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, if you purchase 10 or more of any one type of Pokeball, you will receive one Premier Ball, a special White Ball as a bonus. So the correct answer is in fact 11. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on the shopping trip, isn't it? Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to, to it too. Fucking Giga Brain, Junge. Oh, I don't have any more classes. So what, can I not do an exam yet? Oh, schoolyard, staff room. Um, let's go to the schoolyard, talk to the professor. 
Talk to the professor. Holy shit, this place is so huge. This place is huge. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was what? Not even English. No, that was not English indeed. That was uh, Dutch for a second. Oh, soon, new kid. I have a name, Dendra. Have you come out here to the schoolyard for some training? Yes. Haha, <laughs> I knew I could see a fighting spirit burning behind those eyes of yours. Why don't we do a bit of running together here to get to know each other a little better? Ready? Let's go! We ran three laps around the schoolyard with Miss Dendra. I'm not a towel. Phew. That really worked up a nice sweat. You've got a good pair of legs on you, new kid. <clears throat> good part of training sure does make a body hungry, doesn't it? I'll let you have one of my homemade sandwiches as my way of saying thanks for running with me today. Feed those muscles! Suggest if you buy a button up plate shirt. No. It was dry and had an odd smell. Taste left much to be desired. How was it? I hope it was tasty. Well, to be honest... Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you that. <laughs> I'm athletic and all, but I don't know the first thing about making good food. As your honest reaction just reminded me. Well, uh, see you later. Enjoy your sore muscles tomorrow. We came slightly closer to Miss Dendra. I don't know what play it means, by the way. Lizzie. Lizzie. So colorful. Oh my, if this is a Yordi, hello there. You perhaps have a question about class? Yes, I have a question. What were you having trouble with? Let's have a little review here, shall we? Flying-type Pokémons are weak against rock-type moves. And rock-type moves hits flying-type Pokémon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's doubled! That's right, the correct answer is that the move's damage is doubled. Miss time! Miss time! Oh my, I see one of my more energetic students is here to see me. You'll have to wait your turn, dear. There's only one of, of me after all. Uh, Miss Time, is it true that you were a gym leader? That is indeed that is indeed true. I'm quite a strong battler, you know. Oh, that's so cool! Why did you quit? So you want to know, do you? I might be persuaded to tell you if you wait your turn. Okay. okay, I can wait my turn. I sure can. Sorry for cutting our conversation short, Jordi. But I seem to be in high demand today. Feel free to come see me anytime you have a question for me. You became slightly closer with Miss Time. We not talk with this professor. Sad. Is it dark outside? Entrance hall. Okay, does that mean we can now do the? Oh, hey, Gengar. Oh, that's dope. When we go from day to nighttime, uh, the arena changes.
Yordi, 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 Yordi. The treasure hunt is finally starting. <clears throat> what do you mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a huge part of Naran Jazz Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea has got to offer. What the fuck is that glowing thing there? You could try beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for the real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in the classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there are so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, battling can't wait. I meant to tell you, did you know your phone maps app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one for the gyms as your just destination. That gets your... How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Hey, Arvin? Insider advantage? Jeez, make it sound like we're cheating or something. I did was suggest he check out the gyms. It's up to Yordi whether he goes. He's gonna have his hands full searching for Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after a champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mysticas. And Sergio? He'll be filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Yori where he goes, right? Ugh. We're gonna do all three things. Hmm, Yori, your phone is ringing. Hey, Yori. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunt might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's location to your phone. Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait, one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star? Those punks are serious hazard. Not Jordy's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Jordy to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Hey, Mona, Arvin. How did you know my... Looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Yordi. Bye. Obviously we're gonna do everything because I'm a Giga Chat like that. What's that all about? Glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Let's start heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, look plain easy. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Yordi. Go where you want and do what you really want to do most. I'm gonna do everything! Everything! Treasure of your own. For me. That's gotta be my uh, my big dream, some trucking the Herba Mystica, that's it. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Arr! What did you come out for? My gosh, did you just come out because you said sandwich? 
You're not getting one. Yeah. Seems like it wants to start moving. When you're on Cordera's back, you can press B to have a jump, allowing it to leap over obstacles on your path. Press B again to get off Cord and walk. Whoa, transform. Now it really looks some kind of weird Silas are. As long as you got Ka Koraidon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Aldea is your cloister. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, let's say it's set out to from the East Gate, North, East, South, West. But since Jordi's actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. And this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Jordy. What the fuck is what? The treasure hunt's finally begun. The special events held by the academies encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for treasure all your own. Ah, now we got History, Home Act, Mass Outbreaks are unlocked as well. Oh. Uh, map. Are these Mass Outbreaks? I think so. Um, so yeah. Oh, this is a mass outbreak. I don't know what this is... ...yet, uh, but I'm pretty sure I can't reach that part yet... ...of the map. I need to go through here. But we can go this way. So, uh... ...and up here, maybe. So I am planning on heading that way. Bike bomb. Don't judge my cool bike, mom, okay? Are you guys ready for battling again, or are you, uh... No, okay, good to know. Catch these little buggers. At least one of them. Deerling. Scatterbug. Oh, I forgot to check that big thing in the... Oh. In the city that I saw. Also, these are terrestrial Pokemon, right? Yeah. Can't climb things yet. That'll be available soon enough. Can I actually go through this side? Slowly.
catch a second wing goal. <clears throat> you use the Pokeball! Go! Click. Gotcha. Free potion. Now the question is, can I climb back up here with a jump? attack again. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck, Lizzie? Why is everyone what the fucking right now? Did I come back to? I don't know. Kind of depends on what you're what the fucking about. Yeah, that is not really any particular reason. Oh, oops. Terra Orb. No, Bobo isn't here. Sorry to disappoint, Lizzie. Hop it, hop it. Oh, wait, now I also know what everything is. Gimme ghoul! Can I just catch it with a Pokeball? This year 75, I guess. It's because you do such good work, Lizzie. Oh, wrong. Don't kill it, Yordi. Okay, that's good enough. Bloody hell! Oh! SQ is back again. 
Everyone run! SQ is here! See what else do we have? Luxury, Nest, Heal. Dang it. Gimmick Wolves most likely ghosts, right? We can try Lick. Gimme Gold didn't want to get caught. because she was carrying scissors. <laughs> Tell Lizzie. Let's all nod at each other and throw our balls. <clears throat> you got a problem with that, Lizzie? Nodding at each other and throwing our balls? Yeah, that does look fucking dope, though. It was so nerdy. 
Listen, this ain't, do you, have you seen the clothes I'm wearing, Lizzie? Those clothes are even more nerdy. I bought the Baby Yoda's house, did I tell you guys? No, you don't tell us anything, Lizzie. <laughs> we like to flatten the house and sleep on top of the house. That seems like a good way uh, to go uh, at it. Damn, the Gimmagool didn't respawn. I'm so hoping that guy at least respawned. Oh, oops. Joe Daro is way too high level. Let's go put my uh, pooper up front. Did uh, the deer respawn by chance? No. Shaj. Gimme ghoul coins, biatch. Swift. Pick secure scene. Ocean Protect. That's a nice freebie. Come on, Pooper! You got this! No, don't get stunned, Pooper! So I'm curious, is this a Pokemon? 
It is. It just looks like a regular ass flamingo, though. Flamigo. <laughs> okay, sure, game. Oh, it is bad. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Poison points. Oh, that might be bad. Oh, I didn't realize Pooper has poison points. It's actually super valid. Flamigo. What a name for a Pokemon. It just looks like a fucking regular ass fl flamingo as well. Oh. I see you, trainer son. Oh, hey, Happini. Test if I can just throw Pokeball and goes in. Nice. I am the strongest! Rock Ruff. Ugh. Rock Ruff. How dare you lower my defenses, bitch? Even though we don't have far fetched, you don't know that. Send out Lechonk. Well, Yordi's aggression. Yes, I'm. I have a very aggressive personality, Lizzie. This guy actually has level 12 Pokemon as well. Jesus. Yeah, sure. Go lower my defense with another stage, you butthole. Please do it again. Okay, that's fine. Luchon goes out. Critical heat. Yordi is danger. Yordi is scary. Ah, Makuita, finally. A fighting type. Take out, bitch. <clears throat> Morty is a little bunny. 
I am a little buddy, question mark. Lizzie makes me sad. Henceforth, I am the second mightiest. Henceforth, he is still a dummy. Ocean. What is that? Oh. Oh, that's a whooper. Oh. Okay, never mind, we can't cross the water yet. Lechonk, kick this guy's ass! Bacon the ass. Can I jump? Repeat ball. Heck yeah, I can. You're already just uh, showing off his. Uh, what are they called again? His platforming skills. He doesn't actually have. Tablets, Billy. So it's bye. I can't have you in a new overmark. I have some ding fighters. I have some ding of meat. Yeah, that's why you're in Dora's Compton of the Slot Cupop is. Do we? Can't answer that yet, apparently. Well, so my mom and my little sister just delivered my uh, new drawing tablet, even though I can't use it yet. Due to uh, the fact that it's too large, someone has come to get into your apartment. That was my mom. And my little sister. No, it's because I'm a little bitch and not a bunny, because bunnies like to hug. Hey, free rare candies. Psybeam. Acid spray. Because I love me some hugging. Nice. I don't think I was supposed to be able to jump up here yet. 
Hmm. Maybe it didn't even matter. Let's do a picnic. Oh. Let's do a picnic! Okay, you know what? Let's not do a picnic. Apparently, we too stupid to do picnic. Hey, drowsies. And ghastlies. I like that all the Pokémon are different sizes as well in this game. Okay, two drowsies. Then to catch some of the three gas leaves in total. Ghastly can be named the Almighty, but I'm not using it, Sep. It's not a new Pokémon. So it's not going to be used. It's a cookie place. I'm upset. I make better cookies. We'll find a good Pokémon that we can call Almighty. It'll probably be the regional Carls that we'll call Almighty.
Um, Launch. I can wash my Pokemon. Look how cute. Make a sandwich. Do we even? Oh. Apparently, we can only do this one. All done. Already making a sandwich. I never thought I'd see the day. Look how good it is. I put the button all at the wrong place. It's not that much cooking, Mama. I've seen. Uh, I've had seen worse. Sword and Shield was more cooking, Mama, mama like. Wow, 100 experience points for that? Insane. Okay, let's battle this motherfucker here. You he looked at me weird. No, that's true, I didn't wash everyone. A squawkalikiluku? Nani? Intimidate. Rude. I'm gonna bite your ass. I didn't wash everyone because I didn't want to wash everyone. Axel, the student. Weakling! Seems like we're not so fond of Gasly's. Good to know. Okay, let's go do this uh, raid then. You can help them by uh, listening to them.
Look here, Jordan von Schmickel. Who? I just want them to get off the phone, really. They can't have everything. Did we win? Of course we catch it. This Rate Dead music is way better. You won't? Saj. <laughs> For 40 minutes? Jesus. These people sound like people that just don't want to go uh, and uh, hire a therapist for themselves. Selves. I just gotta get my way back out of here. Oh, this might actually be a problem. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, never mind, I can't- I have quick travel. I can quick travel away from here if it's necessary. But it's not. Cause you already got them skills. Oh, isn't that a second tutel that I can uh, try and catch? Don't know if I ended up catching that uh, second tutel before, but we'll see. Yeah. How else do you think it gets so awesome? And draw these beautiful drawings. Star Shinks with flying. Let's use Popper.
What was said about the horses? What horses? Oh, I didn't post them uh, online. on thyself on myself I don't have to kill it this is a towel for dishes and if you're wondering why the fuck I'm carrying it like this I don't fucking know Cause why the fuck not? Do I need a reason for throwing things? Do I need a reason to do anything in life? I think not. Okay, that's my first great ball. Did it just get kicked into the water? No, I don't need anything. Okay, I uh, think we Gucci, yo. Where the fuck did the scatter bug come from? more happening by chance? Oh. Sunkern, not interesting. Okay, time to bail to a different area. Oh wait, what the hell? Is this uh, Chunky's uh, evolution? 
Let's see. Let's see if we can actually get up there. Yes, you can, Yordi. You don't know that. Ha! See? We can't get up there yet. But it's a good thing I checked, because Endurer lays on the ground here. Okay, let's go do the gym first. But you're at work, so you can't take a nap, Lizzie. Let's see, what can I buy from you? Only Pokeballs and Poke Dolls? After Sunday. Sunday, fun day. Some people might call it. Oh, five days off. Jesus Christ, Lizzie. Toto, to. hey, it's me, Nemoma. Nemona. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decide to set out west from school, right, Jordi? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go and take the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Jordi. Good luck. I don't have anything that is good against bug, though. And my starter is super weak against bug. Oh, look at the cute Eevee. Oh, I got some free ingredients. How nice. No thanks. Young Goose! The Trump Pokemon. Fire burbs. Another young goose.
don't think we're allowed to jump down that far, sadly. Urgh, I'm so careless! Not my problem. So Lizzie's gonna be five days off soon, is she? Oh. See, I do have Barza. I'll probably make you leave for the time being. I'll let you fight these fuckers. Because you're strong against them, right? Oh, fuck. Bunch of tiny fletch in there's Oh Mareep. Cool. Didn't notice you here, buddy. Just need the uh, like what three others? Okay, listen here, bitch. Sep has three more days off. Nice. Everyone has days off. Oh, to use. And here I am. And then week between Xmas and New Year Eve. Nice. Pokemon. Scatterbug! You got this, Parza. Use Thunder Shock. I should probably go see what I have in my bag for Pokémon to swap something around. Drifloon. That should be a fairly easy kill for... Braza. Because I don't really have anything against uh, bug types. Have a look. From the new Pokemon, we still have a Wiglet, which is a water type. That won't do as much good. Then we got this fucker, the Shrudel, which is a poison normal type, it's also not very good. I think the only other is Flamingo, right? 
which is a flying fighting type. Okay, we're bringing you along. Who are we replacing? Pooper or Spoot? Spoot is the lowest level. We're gonna replace him. Affect me, bitch. That's my second Marie. Oh, it's almost dinner time, you think? That's a new Pokemon. Grass normal type. Shmooleaf. In effect, Praza. Just a regular old Sunkern. Another trainer. Really is a fucking hell of an open field, yo. Oh, this is a long reap. Oh. Are you a trainer? Yeah. Gonna train up my bug Pokemon to become real strong. Curry Kitolt. Raza. At level 8. Struggle bug. Should be fine, Raza. Wait, did my special attack just degrees? Fucking knife. Let's go in uh, with a uh, pack. Use tackle. The opposing Cricketop fainted. Ovets. 
Seals the target's held item. Over Techball, sure. You defeated Youngster Ready! Those regular dig it diglets. Diglet dig. Currently. Oh, I do need to swap you out. You're gonna get your butt kicked by a diglet. Go Jordano! See if Diglett wants to get in the Pokeball easy peasy. Looks like it. Who wants to learn Dig? Oh, yeah, over Scratch. You have to say that the animations are a bit much the entire time. At least when it comes to the... What? You cannot... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's just throw a great ball and catch it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Bitch. Please don't kill my... Okay, just sand attack. Good. Braza burrowed underground. This fucker has Earth Trap thingy! Bitch. Missed again. Astonish. Static. Okay, that might actually improve my chances on surviving. Um. <laughs> I mean, we do have one already, so maybe repeat ball will work. Yep, cop. Let's uh, put. Hooper up front. Whoa, Kumbi and a fucking. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. We. Okay, okay, okay. Um. What is that? Uh, it's just a slow cut. There's a meal combi. Poison points. Running all over the place.
New Pokemon has been registered. What the heck is that? Um... All I'm doing is just running around and catching Pokemon. It's so funny. Not just one of each type either, multiples of each type. Where are you? They look interesting. Mashif. Uh, I don't want to deal too much damage to you. Small. Oh, that hurts. Special attack fell. Don't loss. That might be a problem. Slick. It's a dark type. Cute little pupper. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a uh, terrestrialization. Please tell me I can swap. Uh, this is a problem. Uh, we can Mitchell, I hope. Not take too much damage from Astonish. Super effective. Speed fell. That's okay. Rock Tomb. Oh, uh, bollocks. Is that gonna hurt? Is that gonna kill Wolper? Nothing. Yeah, got him. <laughs> uh. We're level fifteen. Now I got more Terra Pokemon. Oh no 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 Scratch Mitch Schultz Oh uh, I'm s you know what fuck it. We got potions, we're using potions. Just face first running into tiny ass Pokemons can be such a pain in the ass. Let you sand attack. This is gonna make me cry, I can already tell. Oh, no, okay, fine. Land the hit. 
And another hit. Another one! Get poison. No, no poison points. Dildo goods, I mean, there's a better dildo goods than Big Lit. Just so you know, Sep. Just so you know, this feeling's taking control of me, and I can't help it. Can't sit around, can't a little bit now. Thought you should know. Okay, that's my second cricket thought. Wrong button. Um only level eleven. So in this game, there are brand new, newer, never seen Pokemon on screen, yeah. Like the motorbike one, yeah. Pichu P! Yeah, a lot of new Pokémon in this game. Make sure to close up shop after I get all your money, thank you very much. I kind of want to see the Vespa Queen. What level is it? 25, Jesus. Good thing we ain't tackling that shit. Playing old mons. Nope. Only new ones. Wait till we determine the almighty. Yeah. Sir Fetch, real name, is Seppi, so the almighty as a title can be to someone new. Yeah. Hell yeah, wing attack. Wing attack is a better pack. Switching. His name is Angel? What a weird ass name. raising its attack like that. Fine. No, we're fine. Okay, last Pokemon. Mibray. Mibray we can easy handle. Stamina. Hmm. 
You son of a bitch. Iron, you son of a bitch. You know what, fuck you. If you're gonna set up your defenses, I'll just terrestrialize and instead of just purely doing double and plus 1.5 stab, we'll do two, uh, two stab, times two stab. I'll do times four damage. Still looking for f new fun Pokémon to add to the team, though. But that's just another and another one of those. Got to watch out for the big lady over there. One small ass Maripio. Psyduck. Psyduck. Azuril. Fusel. It's another one of those terrestrialized or terrestrialized Pokemon. We'll go check it out while it's still terrestrialized. What is it? A Meowth? Okay, good. Oh. Okay, let's go see uh, what terrestrialization he has. Flying Meowth. Oh, that's actually kind of cringe for me. Level 15. You have these fury swipes. Avoid the attack. Okay, just catch it now. If I don't watch out, I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs. <laughs> Yeah, was caught. Scratch Cat Pokemon. Wrong side of town. Can't get there yet. Cutter. Side up. Ooh, an actual Pikachu. Wonder if I should catch that Pikachu. Because it's easier to evolve. Eh, I'll be able to find it again if I don't want to go hard mode. Oh, wrong button again. I press the wrong button every single time. Such a plebby. Oh, there's also 
Appleton's in here. I haven't seen any Appleton yet. Oh wait, maybe in the tree. Yeah, in the fucking tree. Oh, that's a bound sweet, never mind. Well, fuck it. We're running around town. Well, not really around town, but all over the place. Fake tears. Pretty fat. Ooh. You're new. Barely spotted you. Flubby Bay. See if we can easily catch this mofo. Nope. Bite? Not sure. Was this one fairy? Yeah. Good that I just did the regular bite instead of something hard hitting. Because otherwise it would have dead it! I've been playing the game for fucking five hours and I haven't finished one of the big things yet. I haven't even beaten the the first gym. Fucking hilarious. Azuro, you're not hilarious. Piss the fuck off. Or Pikachu. Don't really feel like catching it though. Hey, are we schoolmates? Yeah, bro. Oh, what the fuck is this? Tad bulb. Is that a water electric type? Mud slap. Curiously fell, that's not so great. Take the same classes! Because I'm a Giga Chat with a Giga Brain. Something like that. To Toronto. Oh, didn't even notice the tiny ass motherfucker over there. Not a great ball for free! He already likes free stuff. It is decided that that is the truth. Grassy terrain. Another one of those big doggos. The big doggos look kind of goofy. Please tell me the way! Ow. Where am I supposed to go from here? I haven't got a clue. 
It's fine, I'll just kick your ass. All you can do is then teleport to the Pokémon Center. Ooh, grow life. That is exactly the wrong Pokémon to go up against with my, uh... Um... Let's go with Chonk and Mutchult. Decorings. Hooper wants to learn Slam. 80 power over Tackle, sure. Save light. Hmm. That is a good question. What do I use against Save I guess we're just sending Yo Daro back in. See the disappointment in these guys' eyes. Ooh, seed bomb. Is that a physical attack? Yeah, I got a special attack boosting and speed decreasing nature. That is super cringe. again. Teleport back here. Or quick travel. We go jump. Your male combi. That one is male combi. Care for male combis. Um, this one. Okay, we're gonna go back to f uh, this gate, and then we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center up top. And then we're gonna go to the right seas or left seas he's not good with left or right did i actually fight you yeah good well, let's go fight this asshole
die Royal Bastard auf his work. It is still ground type, so it should be effective. Level difference should insta kill, yeah. Yeah, did you eat a lot, Sep? Was it good? Did it satisfy? Low kick, that's a diglet. Yes, yes, good. So that's what we like to hear after all. Okay, please heal my ass up. Thank you very much. That's what we like to see. Can I buy any new Pokeballs yet? No. Probably after the first gym. Kinda eh. Comes to Pokemon lore. Yeah, but you don't... You're not supposed to play Pokemon for the lore. You're supposed to play Pokemon to catch all the Pokemon and have fun with your Pokemon buddies and kick ass. Sure, of course you can do Pokemon for the lore, don't get me wrong, but you usually don't really... You know, play Pokemon for the war. Just attack random wild animals, hurt them. They lose consciousness. <laughs> yeah, that that's the entire thing. <laughs> it's kind of psychopathic. I mean, you make friends with them as well, and usually the Pokemon will attack you in the wild. <laughs> Not lore, but mechanics and world creation. World building, you mean? bother too much with it, honestly, Sep. To me, it's just playing the game, seeing what new creatures are fun and interesting. Play the games. Make new type of horse mom. Why motor bike mom running? Make new type of horse mom. It's because the other motor bike mom is... Uh, Actually, um, a motorbike, so to say.
But yeah, like I said, don't think too much about the details. It's not a good enough reason to be thinking about all the details. They are. Like, like, they are literally technically too scary. There's some creepy ass shit in, like, the Pokedexes and everything. And moments like that, I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, isn't this supposed to be a kid's game? That's just a blinky blink. But yeah, like I said, don't worry too much about it. Just, like, enjoy the game. Let them do whatever the fuck they want. Ooh, shroomish. So the evolution of this mon is a motorbike mon? No. No, it's not an evolution. It's the different legendary, so to say. Like, you got Scarlet, which is this one. Right? Pokemon Scarlet. And you have Pokemon Violet, which is this one. Uh... This shroomish went down, he said. Like, there are always two different versions when it comes to mainline Pokemon games, right? This fucker is supposed to be able to gonna be flying, climbing, swimming at some point. But for that, I just need to make more progress in the game. Which I'm definitely not doing because I keep running around and exploring things. As far as I can, that is. Because I don't have all the mobility yet. Amphibious, he is multi-terrain flying vehicle moon. <laughs> if you find that a cool name, to each their own. Ooh. That's a new Pokemon. It's a stone mushroom! Nasiel. Just see if it wants to go into a Pokeball without me trying. Nice. It's kind of a Digimon-y name. No, it's not. <laughs> Staravia! Oh. F? 
guy's level 25. Goodbye. Hey, another ghastly. Ooh, Rockruff. Are you also high level? Or are you low level? Okay, you're low level. I need f four of you in total. No, it's not. this buffer thing is. Flittle, anticipation. Oh, it's level 19? The fuck? Please don't insta-kill my uh, Yodaro. Okay, thanks. It's okay. Is that a scissor? Scyther there? It is. Yodaro's attack fell. Stone Puppy Mom didn't fetch the Pokeball, so now he's enslaved as an enthrall. <laughs> but. <laughs> Play rough for you, definitely. Could be the almighty if we played fun Pokemon. Yeah, which we aren't, obviously. Fun Pokemon? What is that? Uh, Toxol. Hmm. Just poison type and electric should be fine. Flail. Throw a regular Pokeball at it. I see that we're hitting or we're going into an area that is a little bit higher level. Dogs Dog Mon. Me like. It's an old Pokemon though, Sep. This one isn't allowed. Uh, for now, I'll keep one Toxel because Toxel's evolutions are kind of weird. Flinched and couldn't move, that's fine. No crit. Thanks. Nice round. Okay, swap loop, get in the fucking ball. Cool, that's what I want to see. Who wants to learn dig? Schultz. Tail whip. Get in the ball, you burp! Yeah, you can say that again. Let me have a look at the map real quick here. This area is fairly large. Uh... I might do a little bit of exploring until I uh, get scared. Because this is way higher level than that I actually am. So I don't really feel like 
killing myself, killing my Pokemon just yet. Is that the evolution of them? Is that the evolved Quagsire? Sick! Hey, Meryl. Riolu. Oh, fuck. Medicham. That was Meditite, level 20. I doubt they, uh... Can I change Honk's nickname? Oh! Yeah, you can. It was not requested. Okay, there are a few Riolu here. It's good to know, because that's a nice Pokémon. To have to search too far for. Fempy, Rock Rough. Okay, yeah, I think I'm coming back here after the gym. There are a lot of different Pokemon in here that I might want. No, you didn't. You only requested the Almighty. I only have one name standing here, and that is the Almighty. You want to call the big boy Chungus? The Chunk? Oh, hey, give me this. It's not gonna fit, by the way, that's way too long, but I can do Chungus. far. Change one Pokemon on my team with another. Uh, that's the wrong one, uh, Sep. <coughs> this means that you can change a Pokemon on my team to uh, a different Pokemon that I own. Okay, let's see, is there anything new in here that is not too high level and gonna kick my ass? Oh, shit. Well, maybe later if the games get hard, I will take away your best Pokémon on the team. Wow, Ruth. Then I better be uh, doing fucking raids and everything so that I can at least level up something different. <laughs> Get a chalky milk. This should go fine, right? Bit of chalky. 
Ah. No, don't give Starly a nickname. I might only catch two Starlies. Or maybe we'll catch three. And it depends on my mood. Bitch! Get in the ball. Aerial catch. Tricked not our grilly thingy dingy soda pulp. Kick this guy's ass or face in. Can you kick someone's ass in and tell. This guy is 90 years old. 80, 70, I don't remember what he said. Scoopa! Oh, 60. <laughs> you already pay a bit more attention, you twat. No. There's so much to explore, yo. I can barely control myself. Can I not call myself a what? Oh, I didn't know I could find mints already. That is super hype. One button again. Actually, here, give me a third one. I wouldn't dare, Sep. Wouldn't dare. Doggos. Betcha Berry. Mo Shindaryu. Oh my wa mo Shindaryu. Let's kick uh, this great dense ass who slack wolf.
Were those Slackle's eyes in the fucking walls? Damn, that's scary. Hang tough. Okay. I really need to get this guy cooler clothes. Registered. It's raining, yeah. Hallelujah, it's raining, yeah. Growl the student. These guys do not look like fucking students to me, yo. These people are adults. Here, have some prize money, but you can't have my materials. Rude. What if I wanted your materials? Bitch! What are you gonna do to stop me, eh? Um, I could have just walked the circle, apparently. That is a new Pokémon. Oh, that's no, Mareep. Just looked like a new Pokémon because I'm blind as fuck. Was not what I wanted to do. The oh, fuck it. Ooh, it actually survived. Another one. Another one. Good thing you're Daro, so P. Okay, um, here. We're gonna go up here next. Check this area. Oh, I should have gone up here as well, still. Oh, no, wait. Yeah? No? No, we've been here. This is downwards. We haven't been here yet, though. Get this little fucker. If I can actually catch a Gimme Goal, and I have a hundred of the Gimme Goal coins, I can actually evolve it. At least that's what uh, rumors tell me. 
Zerumas. Did I kick your ass already? Is he gonna throw at me a shroomish? I think I'm. Well, uh, maybe not actually. What is... don't know, let's go have a look. It is an Azuril though, I don't think I care about that. We're just gonna kill it. For XP. And items. I think this is pure fairy, right? Double fairy and... Oh no, this is psychic, actually. So bite is super effective. <laughs> I can't believe someone actually put it to sleep. Oh, we're letting this one go. I don't need another zero. Makukita. Nice, easy. Is part of a new area at least. We're not gonna go there yet. It feels like that is uh, too far out of the zone so far. Ah, 
Jesus, Yordi. Jesus! Pokemon quiz time! Gibble! That thing goes down easy. Seed bomb. figure out the answer? No. To be fair, I didn't really care about the answer. <laughs> Lemonade. Schlemmen bait. Acid spray. That might actually be good for Whooper. Listen. It's pretty got though, you need to kill all these Mareep. This is our first fucking Ultra Ball, yo. The items that you get, like, for just exploring an area is so weird sometimes. fair, I do really like Sprigitto, even if his secondary or if his first evolution stands on two feet. But that being said, I am very curious about the third or the second evolution. Ball, drowsy. Ooh, that is a new Pokemon. Okay, this looks like a set Pokemon. Tinka Tink. It's a Pokemon with a fucking mace. Boom shaka laka laka boom boom. Wow, fantastic, baby. See what kind of typing it has. I don't know what it evolves into yet either, but hey, listen. fairy steel type. Okay, sap, 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 sap. What do you think of this guy as the Almighty? But it turns into a guy with a big hammer eventually. Gonna edit to the party. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Popper then. Because that's also fairy type.
Nightshade. Heal Ball. Burp. Uh, if you uh, request a name and we figure out a Pokemon that is uh, fun for you, or fun, and a new Pokemon to use. Damn it, SQ. I just had a drink. <laughs> I'll go grab a drink later after. Uh, putting my food or eating my food. Nice, easy. I don't care, I didn't see. <laughs> I don't care, I didn't see. Wait, where the fuck is the... Shiny boy that I uh, saw here? Uh, those guys can despawn. Wish I'd knew that, known that sooner. Would have actually checked if it was an interesting one. Gimmel coin. Well. Sucks to be us. You want this. Ultra Ball. Fault you already, right? Yeah. Nope. Fick. Reap. Gimme, 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 gimme. Aerial Ace. Lame. That wasn't really worth it. Hola, fresh product! We uh, buy us some eggs. And we buy us some potato salada. And some chorizo. Ice cream. Let's eat some ice cream because I can.
Well, everyone seems happy with the ice cream. Air crawls. I just spent all my money. Buying resource for food that I can't even use. Yet. Do anything with yet, I mean. This place is nice. So is this tree, it looks dope. Big roots. I don't have a Pokemon with HP stealing moves yet though. Como estas? Si, si! Something like that. If Lizzie was here, she could tell me. Sandwiches. Is this? Play with some LP. See if anything happens. If I learn a new sandwich, if I eat some sandwiches. Spicy. Happened to the dragon mom. It has wheels coming out of his ass. I don't know how you want me to explain people their uh, Game Freaks Pokemon design. SQ. Treasure can all be sold. 
so that Jordan has some more money. I hate it. SQ hates it. Yaddy yaddy does he. For me personally, I like this one better. Or, well, I like this one better than the other one. Which is an actual motorcycle. With that being said, it's not really that bad either, but... Okay, let's go do the first gym, finally! <sighs> After 6 hours and 42 minutes! We haven't explored that much of the island yet either. Oh, hey, Yordi! Can't see this gym, huh? Can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yep. Yes, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it! Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. I use them, consider it's... ...me healing up your Pokemon. I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. It's the best news ever. And I'm so excited, I can barely stand still. So I'll just have to battle every trainer I run into. Uh, let's uh, put, our, put our flamingo up front. Wrong button. SQ, what's up? Welcome to Cohortome Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Jordan, yes? Great, now in order to face gym leader Katie, you need to pass a gym test. Here at Cordo Gym, that means taking on the Ola Olive Run. Olive production is a big part of the life in Cortondo. We've held our Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in Bumper Corpse. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an Olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great Olive Harvest next year, too. The staff are over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just north of town. Now get out there and have fun. That's not what I expected. Addict much? Nerd? What? What are you talking about, SQ? Nani? SQ, why the fuck are you on to grind my gear right now? Oh, shit. Small of...
Holy shit, 26 is a little bit too high already. Wants to learn Rock Smash. Never. Mighty is evolving. Congratulations, the Almighty Almighty evolved into Tinkertuff. That wasn't really part of the plan. Now can't use Tinkertuff for a bit, at least. Flamingo wants to learn low kick. Level 19 should be able to... Okay, we gotta test out Tinker Tough actually, if he still listens. But that's cute, you're not in my hand. Yeah, I feel like this is good enough. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is about stamina. You need to push with all you've got to get the large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles and push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready for to start the gym challenge? Questioning SQ again. Can't be helped. this just the rugby ball? Can I push it over? Beat me and you can take the shortcut. <laughs> Esmeralda. Cricketune. Let's see how high the... Oh my god, I'm overleveled like hell. Bitch be crying, yo.
Antonio. Venonat. Chungus is evolving. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> Oink alone? The heck? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to great Olive Harvest next year. Happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your results to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in the bay in the battle. Here you are in a roll out there. Big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym challenge. You've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge KT or Katy, whatever? There's too much rain in this game. Eat up, my little pavilion. My cute little pavilion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Forgive me. My name is Katie. And I'm the owner here at uh, Patisserie Soberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader of the Cotorndo gym right now. Forgive me. Uh -huh. My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cotorndo. However you pronounce that. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Book type Pokemon hiding in the foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down, unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Nimble. Well, that's an interesting little motherfucker. Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You will be in a world of pain if you do. Level 14, 3 Pokemon. Right, let's see how this goes.
Tarantula. Is that the evolved form? No, it's still the same one. Teddy Ursa? Wait, is this Teddy Ursa? Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Is this a Teddy Ursa with bug type? Terrestrialization? Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. I've just been exploring a lot, that doesn't make me a cheater. My fucking flamingo soloed. All of my sweet little Pokémon dropped like flies. Also, I'm not a cheater! I've just been working very hard by catching a lot of Pokémon. Palmo. Doesn't seem to change much, does he? He's just slightly taller now. Arm thrust. Oh, he becomes an electric fighting type. Interesting. <clears throat> our strength rose during our battle like nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed as proof. Allow me of your victory against me, the gym leader. Allow me to present you with the gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside of, alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Oh, that's cute. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Hounds. Once you found TM during your travels, you can use the TM machine to make copies of that TM. Did you know that? I wish you luck if you, in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go now. Then until the next time we meet. Roto Toto. Hey, hey, Yordi! Just had to tell you, my Pokémon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. I would go to the gym, by the way. I passed. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, past me. I'm training hard, too. By the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got a map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path is getting stronger. Usual the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. We we'll catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want to battle if we run into each other. Hey SQ, hey, 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 SQ. Hey, 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 SQ, Q Q. SQ! Makes attack.
Nothing. Well, nothing, my butt. Oh, here's the big bakery. Cool. New. Oh, this is the perfect time for me to make dinner and, um, Everything real quick oh, So we can continue afterwards I'll be back in a bit